Hi there, I'm Jen Kitzmiller. I'm a meteorologist here with the National Weather Service in Missoula. And we've got a change coming to some more winter weather-like conditions for Western Montana and North Central Idaho. So just wanted to provide you a brief outline of what to expect. So the, ma the main thing we have going on, we have an Arctic front that's gonna be moving through. Ahead of that front, we're expecting virtually all areas to see snowfall, and that's going to be starting Monday evening across Northwest Montana, and then filling in across the rest of West Montana and North Central Idaho Monday night into Tuesday. We then have an Arctic front that will be moving through, um, and I'll show a timeline for that here in a minute. Um, but that is going to be bringing a period of brief heavy snow, blowing snow, winds gusting as high as 45 miles per hour, rapidly dropping temperatures, and with those dropping temperatures, a possibility for a freeze up of roadways. And then behind the Arctic, um, snowfall should come to an end, but then we'll be left with some blowing snow, some wind, and some frigid wind chills. So here's the uh, look at the timing for the Arctic front. The Arctic is shown here by this blue line with the triangles, and we are expecting that front to be crossing the Continental Divide in northwest Montana Monday night between 8 p.m. and 12 a.m. So areas such as Marias Pass to West Glacier knocking on the doorstep of Kalispell. The front will then continue to push south and west overnight uh, Monday night to Tuesday morning. Here, this is the 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. Tuesday morning time frame, and it should be crossing the rest of the divide and western Montana, including areas such as McDonald Pass, Homestake Pass, and Butte. Uh, this is a time frame in particular that we're watching for potentially some higher end impacts due to that combination of heavier snowfall, gusty winds, and a freeze up of roadways. So travel could become hazardous um, late Monday night, early Tuesday morning, particularly uh, for areas south and east of Missoula along the I-90 corridor and also along the Highway 12 and 200 corridors. The front then is expected to be through Missoula and basically draped along the I-90 corridor um, between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. Monday. And the front looks like it's going to kind of stall out in those areas through Tuesday afternoon before making a push through the rest of north central Idaho and Lemhi County Tuesday evening into Tuesday night in that 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. time frame. So what are we looking at for snowfall totals? Uh, this is the probability of it seeing at least one inch of snow ending Wednesday afternoon. And you'll really see virtually everywhere has a uh, 80 to 100% chance of seeing at least one inch of snowfall. However, you'll see when I jump to the probability of seeing four inches or more, that really drops off quite a bit, especially for valleys of Western Montana. So generally we're expecting maybe one to three inches of snow. Um, for western Montana valleys. The exception is across southwest Montana for some of that higher terrain and locations such as Butte, Georgetown Lake, McDonald Pass, Homestake Pass, Lost Trail Pass, where we could see some higher snowfall amounts. Also, I'll point out through north central Idaho, Highway 12 from Lolo Pass to Lowell, Grangeville and some of those higher train elevations such as Elk City and Dixie have um, much higher chances of seeing four inches or more of snowfall. Um, and that for these areas is generally because the front is slower to move through so there's a little bit longer to accumulate some snowfall. Now as that uh, Arctic front moves through by Wednesday, most of the snowfall should be trailing off and we'll be left with much colder temperatures over the area. You'll see in western Montana, highs struggling to get out of the teens to low 20s and through central Idaho, highs will only be in the, the 20s to around freezing. And then Thursday morning is really when we're expecting the, uh, the coldest temperatures. We'll be seeing single digit highs to below zero, especially near the Continental Divide. I'll point out Butte, Montana. We're currently forecasting a low around 16 below zero. And through central Idaho, we're looking at lows in the single digits to low teens. So that's just a little overview of what to expect early this week. We hope this helps you plan for the next few days. And please continue to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and we'll continue to provide updates as we have them. Thanks and have a great week.